Elsons makes. We're thinking about making hedgehogs and uh, painting hedgehogs and growing planters for hedgehogs and all sorts this week. So I thought we would start by just creating a fruit hedgehog but it does have a little interesting twist with some chocolate and things like that. So I'm going to start with a pear and you might well already notice that I've cut that in half. Uh, we've got an apple, we've got some grapes that I've already cut into quarters. Now that's really important because you can choke quite easily on grapes. So if they're into quarters, then it shouldn't be a problem. I've got some toffee pieces, I've got some honeycomb, and hiding around here, I've got some raisins. You can use sultanas, anything that you've got in the house that would work. So really this job today is about just putting it together. I have already sliced a little bit off of this apple. The reason being, it then allows the apple to stay nice and still and it can't wobble around. And we're going to be using that as the body for a hedgehog. And I've cut the pear in half already and we don't need this bit, so I'll put that over there. And I'm sure you can guess what this part is going to be. This is for the snout. And we can put those together like that, but as you can see, it does tend to fall off. Now we've got lots of cocktail sticks and they are quite sharp, so just be really careful and an adult can help you if need be. I'm going to get this part and I'm going to push the cocktail stick in like so. Who'd have thought it was that hard to push that into an apple? So we've pushed that into that part of the apple and then I'm going to attach this part as the snout. Now I've been really lucky, this has got a nice little flat bit anyway. So I'm going to push that. And it is standing up a little bit like that and that's exactly how I wanted it to be. So that's sitting quite nicely and I can wobble it and not a lot happens really. So I'm going to think about giving the hedgehog some eyes. I've got a sharp knife. Once again, ask an adult to help you. I'm just going to put a little nick into the pear like that. And then another one over this side. I'm keeping my hands nicely out of the way just in case I slip. So there, I've got two little eyes. And I want to use these honeycomb pieces because they've got a little bit of a point to them. So I'm hoping they're going to stick in. Give that a bit of a push down like that. And then same on the other side. Now your hedgehog needs to have some spines. And an adult hedgehog has about 7,000 spines, which is an awful lot of them. And they use them to protect themselves. You might see a hedgehog roll up into a ball if it's a little bit scared. And that keeps everyone away because they're really spiky. So this is where I'm going to use my cocktail sticks. Now I've put five quarters of the cut up grape on there. You can decide however many you want to. And I've done lots of them here and you can decide where you're going to put them. But the spines would normally come this way. I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to push the first spine in like that. And I could, if I wanted to, just turn these around a little bit different directions. And then the next spine can go in like that. I could twist those round. And I'm always going at that back angle like the spikes would actually be. And then that one. I've got to do a little one. On this side, and one on the other side, always remembering the angle, and remember not to put it into your fingers. And then I'm going to fill up this space at the back with the ones I've got left. I'm going to start in the middle. And 
just keep going. And remember, you could twist them all around a little bit if you want to. You might want to pull them up to the top of the spikes a little bit. Really up to you. So I'm going to put one at the back there like that. And another one like that. Pulling the spikes round. And the last one there. I'm going to turn it round. And there we have a spiky hedgehog. Now, if you don't like grapes, you could use lots of sultanas and raisins in exactly the same way. Now, because this hedgehog needs a little bit of a habitat now, doesn't it? It looks quite boring on this plate. So, I have got some grated chocolate, finely grated, and there's some more honeycomb pieces and some fudge pieces. And I've made a little bit of a centre where I'm going to sit the hedgehog. So are you ready? I'm going to put the hedgehog into place. Lifting it very carefully with these spikes and I don't want it snout to fall off either. Oh, let me see. I'm going to put it there and I will twist it round. And there you have your spiky hedgehog amongst the mud and you can enjoy this with a friend you can have it by yourself you could give it to someone in your family just remember those spikes so have fun enjoy eating your hedgehog bye